All right, guys, we're out here in Salmon Creek area today, kind of by Thomas Jefferson uh, Middle School. This pillar was knocked over in the ice storm. Um, we are in the process of looking to see if we can match this brick. If we can, we're just going to rebuild this one pillar to match this one over here. I'll walk over there in a second. If we cannot find a match, we're going to find something extremely close that'll match the house, but then end up rebuilding both pillars. In that process, the lights currently don't work. Customer is not concerned about them working, but is concerned that if a future resident when he sells the house may want them to work that we could actually run wires to them and have the lights functional so we're both gonna look well he's gonna look for exterior lights in about a hundred to 150 dollar range um, to replace both of these so we'll dig this footing out as you can see um, there was conduit here we don't know where that leads or if there's any wires in there so not really much we can do as far as uh, getting that but we can make some sort of access inside so for future wiring dig up this uh footing report and uh rebuild this pillar with obviously to make it um way more sturdier than it is so we'll have to put in uh, rebar and concrete make it sturdy so when somebody comes whipping around this corner um we can make sure that that's you know stays up at least a little bit better depending on how fast we're going all right so let me walk over here to this pillar again if we can find the brick to match we'll just clean this one up and replace the light on top if we cannot find matching brick we'll replace both of these pillars and replace the lights are you interested in the newspaper box still if we ended up replacing this? Uh, no, it doesn't have to be there. Okay, so that, that's optional. So if we can keep it, that'd be cool. If not, um, no worries with this build at all. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks, bye.